talk about how to remove bloatware from your new PC easily and pretty effectively. So uh, this is a nice little GitHub repo brought to you by SyncX. So he does a good job here. And um, it's a called Windows 10 to Bloater. And I'll post the link down below in the description. That way you can easily get to it. So, uh, you know, we're going to read it together. It's this purpose. I found many different solutions online to deploy Windows 10, and many either worked but caused issues in the long run, or they did so little that wasn't enough of a debloat experience. I decided to create a script that would debloat de de Windows 10 the way I envision it. The ash ended up even being able to reverse the changes, which is kind of nice. Um, so the best way to go and run this, and I'll go through it if you go down and tell you what's going to remove it, a lot of the stuff you don't need. So kit's kind of nice. What you want to do is you will go to the top and click on clone or download and click on download zip. Click save. Click save as. And then save it to your desktop to make it easy on yourself. Click save. All right. And then we'll go to minimize this for now. And then right click and click extract all. And then show extract files when complete. Sure. All right. So there we go. We have that there. And it uh, has a little bit of GY, but um, we'll try that. Let's try this PowerShell. So you want to search for PowerShell, Windows PowerShell, and then right click and click run as administrator. That allows you to make changes to the system because if you don't run it as administrator, most things will get denied. All right, so let's try the GUI version of this. All right, so right click, select all, copy, go down here, control V, and then hit enter. All right. And it'll give us options here. Uh, we can remove all bloatware. We can remove bloatware with blacklist. We can remove bloatware without blacklist. And then I actually want to go ahead and remove all the bloatware because that's, um, you know, if I find that I need something, I can always go ahead and, um, you know, reinstall it. So it's not a big deal. So I will click this. And uh, we're gonna move this out of the way. Uh, actually, it's not gonna let me. Oh, there we go. All right, and we can see it's going through and actually gonna remove all the blowware, which is kind of nice. And this takes probably two three minutes to go ahead and um, run, so not too bad. And I'll be right back, and uh, we'll go ahead and with the activities here. But uh, we'll go ahead and wait for it to. Give me the next prompt. So it says removing bloatware apps, so we will go ahead and be patient here and give it a second. All right, there we go. Should be almost done here. And I will be right back once it continues. Here, trying to remove all these apps. Okay. Xbox game over overlay. Don't need any of this. So this is actually quite nice. Flipboard, Twitter, Facebook, Spotify. It's all stuff that's going to slow down your computer. It's going to disable some scheduled tasks, which is going to speed up your um, you know, computer as well. So finish all tasks. So that is completed. So there we go. And um, so it'll actually prompt you to probably restart your computer. Go ahead and do it that way. You can go ahead and complete 
the changes. We will go ahead and um, go back in here. All right. We will go ahead and paste it again. All right. It might actually not let me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Because we still have the GUI. Okay. So um, now I do like the Edge PDF takeover because I like reading the P PDFs in Edge. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to set it back to default. Edge will now be used for PDF, which is kind of nice. And I also like Cortana, so I'm going to enable Cortana. And then she's been enabled. And I can test that. Let's see here. Hi, Cortana. Something went wrong. Try again in a little bit. Well, she didn't like that. So <laughs> try again a little bit. Let's try it again. Hello, Cortana. That's me. Okay, that's her. So it did work. Um, so no worries. And um, I'm going to click on remote, remove bloatware reg keys. Okay. So pretty much that's all you need to do. You can go ahead and uh, close out this and it'll close out everything. And then you are basically set. You can go ahead and, uh, you know, go ahead and delete these two items cause you don't really need it. And um, unless you want to revert changes, which I'm not planning to, because if you go now and you go look at, um, you go to apps, You'll see that your list is much, much shorter than it was before, which is really nice. So that's today's tip. I hope you enjoyed, and um, we'll see you next time. If this did help you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will bring you more tips in the future. Thank you. Goodbye.